previously in Fenero. He says, if any man be in Christ, that man is a new creature, and the old is first, and now the new, and all things are of God. That's the simplicity in Christ, that all things are of God. There is nothing hard to do. Ministry is not hard. Marriage is not hard. Business is not hard. Your career is not hard. Healing is not hard. Deliverance is not hard. Walking in the spirit is not hard. Why? Because there is simplicity. What is the simplicity? All things are of God. That means when I'm preaching, it's of God. Hallelujah. When I'm praying for the sick, it's of God. When I'm prophesying, it's of God. When I'm ministering, it's of God. When I'm doing business, it's of God. When I'm entering marriage, it's of God. When I have children, they are of God. How can it be complicated when everything is of God? God wants to take you deeper than the challenges that are in your life. So you understand exactly why Jesus is in you and why you are in Christ. As you have received Christ Jesus, walk ye in him. How are you supposed to receive him? Understand that this union was one. He that is joined with the Lord is one. One spirit with the Lord. Once you understand what it means to be in Christ and what it means for Christ to be in you, you'll understand that salvation is supposed to be a life of simplicity. That's maturity. That is the simplicity. The simplicity of Christ is to the intent that by God, Christ is made unto us of God. All things are of God. Okay, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 30. He says, but of him are ye in Christ, who of God is made unto us wisdom, righteousness, sanctification, and redemption. So, Christ is the wisdom of God, and he's made unto us the wisdom of God. Christ is the righteousness of God, and he's made unto us the righteousness of God. Christ is the sanctification of God, and he's made unto us the sanctification of God. That means you are wise of God. You're righteous of God. You are sanctified of God. All things are of God. What makes him simple? Because I don't need wisdom, I have him. So if I have him, he's been made unto me wisdom of God. I don't just carry the wisdom of men, I carry the wisdom of God because Jesus is made made the wisdom of God. So I can't wake up and I'm struggling. You can't be a student and you say, you know what? That guy is wise, I wish I was wise like him. Oh my goodness. You carry the wisdom of God. What makes it so simple? Because that means I don't need to be anything. I'm already it. My body is of God. My blood is of God. My bones are of God. My heart is of God. My organs are of God. Everything in me is of God. Hallelujah. In and out. The Bible says we are members of his body and his bones. Put your hand on your head and say, I will live a long life. You don't walk after the flesh, but after the spirit. He says, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ. The spirit of life in Christ carries the law. There are laws that are appropriated when you're in Christ. When you understand you're in Christ truths, Christ in you, you in Christ. There are certain laws in the spirit that are appropriated. They, they appropriate primarily the law of life. When you understand what it means to be in Christ and Christ to be in you. You get rooted and grounded in him. Life starts to come out of your spirit. Condemnation is not your portion because you're unreprovable. You're holy and unblameable. How many of you know that Christ, the eternal person, does not exist in the time frame of earth? Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. For to him, yesterday, today, and tomorrow are one and the same. So the person of Christ cannot be ignorant of the present, the past, and the future. Some of you are still waiting to tell you that next year you're going to be a success. There's a point where you get to in God. I know my next 10 years. I know my next 20 years. Why? Because I know the mind of Christ. It doesn't exist in your time series. Even better, I know my end. Somebody say, I know my end. And guess what? That's a place of faith. The Bible says that the evil man and wicked one shall be far from you. No 
anybody who can harm you can come near you. Why? Because the son of God was not killed. They did not take his life. He gave it. The son of God gave. They didn't take. Don't think that you can be in your house and somebody brings a knife. Oh no, no. They're talking about another person, not you. But the one who is listening to me, they can't just, oh no. You can only give your life. They can't take it. You're called of God. You have an anointing on you. You have, oh, katara, brokota, katala, mando, shatalaba. That's the mind. I can't give my life to disease. I can't give my life to death. I can't give my life to a man. I can't give my life to cancer. You cannot give your life to disease. Your business can't be taken. Your marriage cannot be taken. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. He did not give life power. He did not give death power. He gave the tongue power. He said, whatsoever you bind on earth, it shall be bound in heaven. The Amplified says, must be what is already bound in heaven. That means our conversations begin from up here. He says, for our conversations are in heaven from whence we look. We begin from up there and bind. Those are called the keys of the kingdom. By the time I come on earth and say I will leave, heaven has already agreed. By the time I serve a success, heaven has already stamped it. Hallelujah, somebody. Signed and sealed and delivered. You will have a long life. You will see good days. And for more of this, join us every Thursday at Umalugogo from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Finero, make manifest.